Welcome to the Weekend Warriors YouTube channel. Let me spin a yarn for you regarding the legendary Banana Mercs. One day, in a kingdom far away, a king by the name of King Bartholomew was robbed. King Bart, often called Bart without a heart, offered up a reward to anyone who would come to his aid. The king wasn't concerned about the gold, diamonds, jewelry, or other valuables that the thieves absconded with but for his only family heirloom, his cookware. King Bart called all of his knights and townsfolk to his throne room in search of information. He sought witnesses. Two of the poorer class came forward. First a man well into his twilight years. Afraid and uncomfortable speaking to the king, the man shook and stuttered as he described the perpetrators. It was three goblins, he said. They entered through a ventilation tunnel, low to the ground. They were small, shifty-eyed, and ugly. When the old man had finished, the king had him ushered away. Take him to the dungeon! How dare he come into the throne room without bathing first, the king declared. Next, a frail woman, appearing to only be in her late thirties to early forties, but clearly malnourished. She wore dirty, stained clothing, that was fraying at all the edges, her feet disgustingly dirty and calloused from not wearing shoes. She began to speak, or at least her mouth was moving. Speak up, the king commanded. She did. She provided additional information to what the older gentleman had said, besides the three goblins. Her account included the three goblins handing the loot to a large cyclops standing outside of one of the windows. The Cyclops was tall as two men, she said. Which two? the king asked. No, I mean equal to the height of two men. Two tall men, she answered. Not only did the Cyclops carry all of the loot, but the goblins as well, she continued. They rested on his shoulders and back while he just walked out the kingdom. When she was done speaking, she cupped her hands and extended them toward the king in hopes of receiving a small reward. How dare you beg in my presence, the king exclaimed. Take her to the dungeon with that other nuisance. Once order was restored, the king asked, Will anyone come forward and honor your king by finding the scum, slay them, and bring back what is mine? I need my cookware! Mumbling and laughter began filling the room. Silence! Bart ordered. Are there any of you brave enough? The room became still. Well? He asked. He looked around the room for volunteers. Instead of people stepping forward, they actually began stepping backward. Even as knights. Awkward. The king glanced around the room once more. The attendees still quiet. They tried not to make eye contact, lest they be chosen to go on this suicide mission. Suddenly, there came a shuffling at the rear of the crowd near the exit. Just when old Bart was beginning to think that his constituents were trying to sneak out, two banana mercenaries broke through. Are you here to serve your king? Bart asked. We are, one of the bananas answered. Murmuring rose in the crowd once more. Bananas weren't well liked or trusted in the kingdom. Many have been brutally skinned for just being bananas. The king gave them their orders with promises of great reward and sent them on their way. Two days later, the bananas returned. With them, they brought the loot, including the king's cookware. They also brought back evidence of the demise of those that committed the crime. Those present gasped at the sight. Ew, said one of the king's knights. The king was exuberant. Stick around! We'll feast tonight in your honor, he told the bananas. At that night's festivities, the king fed them, as well as his knights. They had meat and vegetables. Music was played by a band of bards. It was quite the celebration. When they were done eating, the king said, now, let's have dessert. I prepared something special for you. I call it banana nut bread. The bananas, enraged, sprung from their seats and laid waste to everyone in the room. 
Well, that pretty much explains the origins of banana nut bread. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and hit that bell.